What's your CV machine on? Uh, 46.1. All right, just put it in there anyway. Just get it started, get it warming up. Put it in. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry. Okay. I think they're in a difficult position at the moment where the bulk of the work was all about that chicken roulette. Lots of elements going on, all gone into water bus at a different time. Amy's pumped it up, which is probably a smart thing to do. So hers is running at about 55 degrees. We're going to have a bit of jeopardy here. Either not cooked or maybe even overcooked. Spice mix, the rest of it? Yeah. There's only one way to stay safe. Curry flavour with your flavours. 30 minutes to go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's it. I'm not confident at all right now. You know, I'm looking around and, you know, Amy and Renee are in front of me and they look really, you know, composed and on top of things. Then I've turned around and George has, you know, got a sauce on as well. And I haven't even done that. Yeah, two tablespoons of cream. So I'm stressing that I've fallen really behind. Don't let those onions burn. They're caramelised. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Not too much. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. To make my sauce, I'm frying off the onions and I've got the tomatoes roasted. I have a taste of it and I'm not happy with it. Um, it needs more cream. Because I added extra spice, I think it needs a bit more cream to balance out the flavours. It's not as smooth, nowhere near, so... Renee's already added as much cream as the recipe states, but as she keeps adding more, I'm wondering if she's doing the right thing. Renee, no, 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 Add some water. Can't be, add some sugar if it doesn't taste right. I just hope that changing the recipe hasn't jeopardised my sauce. I want you to taste that. <laughs> I'm so happy that I've got my sauce back on track and that Vickers loves it. Nice, looks good. How is it? Good? Yep. And then you just set it aside, ready to play. Get everything ready for the yeah. rice. Yeah. Get everything prepared for your lemon rice, yeah? Come on, move. I'm moving. Doing a great job, Laura. It's OK. Oh, she looks so frazzled. I just would love to be able to just stop the clock for Laura right now. But this is a pressure test. She could be going home. Boiling. Simmer, simmer. Turn it down. It needs to be simmering. So I've got about 20 minutes to go and I haven't even made my rice pop them yet. I've never made one before. You need two pieces of baking paper and then you've got to bash it. For this rice puppet I'm to work, the rice has to be cooked perfectly. Then I need to bash out the rice so it forms together and holds its shape. Laura, Laura, give me one second. Bash? Not my hand. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I'm letting out the no, steam. No, no. <laughs> I'm literally like bashing absolute cheebus out of it. Look what's happening. Is it cooked? It? Yes, yes, it's cooked. Did you add the orange blossoms and everything to vinegars? No. I'm so angry at myself for missing this crucial step. Without the orange blossom and the vinegar in the rice papadum, the rice papadum just isn't going to work. I do not have time for this. OK? Uh, yep. No, that's not going to help. No. We don't need salt in that rice. Too much salt. There's no salt in <laughs> From the tears. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 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 Yep. Yeah. Now you've got to do it fast. Gently, gently. How much time have I got? 12 minutes. Fast and hard, fast and hard. I've never made a rice puppet on before. We shouldn't bash the rice too much, otherwise the grains will spread apart and they won't stick together. I'm not sure if I've bashed too much. It seems to be OK and it seems that they are sticking together. Bring them on, crush them with your hands if you can. And then into the 100 degree oven to dry. There should only be one thing on your mind, and that's making it into the top ten. Ten minutes to go. Come on. Just throw it in. Get it in the oven. All right, get your coriander oil done. All right, so two large bunches of coriander mix. How much? This 
whole cook so far has been pretty up and down. Um, I feel like I'm starting to get back on top of it now that I know that it's going to go quickly from here. Just strain it. You just need a little bit of oil, you know? Georgia, pastry cook. It's not like you're bashing out Indian curries no, every no. second day, are you? No. And here you are, you're yeah. on top of stuff. You know, yes. you've got your coriander oil made, your chicken's in the water bath. Yeah. Your tomato sauce, is that done? Yep. Yep, it is. It's sitting ready to plate so, up. So, so you're kind of ahead of everyone, which is fantastic. To see Am I? Georgia. That's great. It's good to see. I can't believe I'm ahead of everyone after my disastrous start with the sous vide machine. I thought I was never going to make up the time, but I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Gigi, all you've got now is the last step, step 19. Check your chicken. Yeah, it's pretty soft. With seven minutes to go, I get my chicken out of the sous vide machine and I'm really worried about the chicken roulade because it is very raw. And I know that I need to get it in the pan as soon as I can because pan frying is going to really need to cook it. I definitely don't want to serve the chicken up raw because it will send me home instantly. Get a spoon, get the butter nice and hot and nappe it over. Take your chicken out. And I take the chicken out of the sous machine. And that is very rare. Get your pan on the heat. It is, it is, it is. And I'm praying that the heat from the pan is going to just cook it through. But I don't think it's going to cook. Oh, wow. Those two now, very under. Like that one. That one is really, really on the raw side. Laura, come on. Good, G. Nice and even. Just keep turning it. OK, that's good. So it's not how I expected it to come out of the sous vide machine. I just thought it was going to come out more cooked than it was. But this isn't a disaster. I can fix that. I'll just need to give it a bit longer in the pan than I thought I was going to in the beginning. Come on, Renee, you're all over this. You can do it. Just push for the last few minutes. Get your sauce and your rice together just so you're ready. Come on, Gigi. Come on, come on, come on. This is where it gets crazy and interesting. Five minutes to go. Oh, oh, oh. Getting your chicken. At this point, I remove the chicken from the sous vide and I'm quite confident that it's cooked properly. Get your pan up. I brown off the chicken, basting it with that ghee, and I'm so relieved. I feel like this is doable now. You're looking good, Flame. Oh! Flames, tears, nothing's going for me right now. It's good, Renee. Looking good, Renee. Get your sauce on the plate. Check your papadum as well. Four minutes to go and I remove my rice papadum from the oven and it looks OK. I think I might have this. Oh, well, that just hasn't worked. That's an absolute disaster. It's not holding together and there is no way that this is coming off in one piece. Oh, is it that important? Is it that important? Is it that important? Is it that important? I'm really disappointed. Hopefully, it's not an imperfect rice papadum that sends me home. It's going to be sprinkled. Come on, Ray, you're right. Let's get it going. Come on, come on. OK. OK. Very gently. Good job, Renee. Yes. Beautiful, Renee. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, Renee. The gantry starts cheering. It's like I've just won the Olympics. It's crazy. <laughs> wow. Hey. Awesome, Renee. How good is that? Oh, Come it's on. Breaking. Get a knife. Get a knife. Slide it underneath. That's it. Come on, guys. This is it. Two minutes to go. Push, push. Make sure that chicken's cooked. Let's go. Come on. It's like I'm going to go home with undercooked chicken. Like, I know how to cook chicken. So, yeah, I'll feel completely defeated if I go home off this. Nice. Beautiful. Whatever judgment call you've made, now's the time to deliver. One minute. Let's go. Come on, Gigi, you've only got a minute. I think I was really on track to play up the dish really well, but suddenly this roulade's just falling apart. How is it cooked? Um, I don't think so. Uh, How is it? How 
messaging. I've been really worried about the chicken being undercooked, so now I think I've practically charcoaled it in the pan and it looks more like barbecue chicken. Oh, my God. Is it cooked, Amy? Yep. Beautiful. Plate up. Plate up, Renee. Renee. Come on, Renee. Come on, Renee. Burn your fingers. Who cares? Come on. Because once it's been Michelin star food, you got 30 seconds to do Come it. On, Laura. 30 seconds. Laura. Come on, Laura. Come on. Garnish and crisp. Garnish and crisp. I think it's cooked. Yeah? Come on. Oh, God, I've totally destroyed this roulade. Laura, chicken. I'm freaking out. I'm about to put raw chicken onto my plate. I know it's not cooked and I'm going home. Right, garnish, garnish, garnish. Come on, guys. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, so ugly. Six, five, four, three, two.